This weekend, you could win yourself a copy of Dungeon Saga and the Adventurer's Companion from Mantic Games. Simply comment on any of these Dungeon Saga videos on Beast of War, Facebook or YouTube. Hi guys, we're back for more Dungeon Saga. Right, we've had our first little tussle in the dungeon. The Dwarf and the Barbarian have battered <laughs> down the doors and are working their work. What? The barbarian <coughs> battered down the door. The dwarf watched. Okay, the go, dwarf go and watch it. It's on video. <laughs> this is completely documented. Okay, well, they are working their way deeper into the dungeon. Yes. Now they have journeyed from the west. Yes. Now, okay. but word has spread. Yes. Okay. So, uh, whereas previously we were the mighty, handsome barbarian. Rippling body, you remember that yes, bit? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. I also remember a ripped off loincloth. Oh, well, yeah. yes, okay, okay. The loincloth's back on though. Yeah. All right. And his esteemed colleague, who he met down the pub, yep. the dwarf. Yeah. Okay. But word spread. Mm. Word spread to another tavern, this time in the east. Yeah. Okay. Where the mighty, the incredibly intelligent IQ of 172. <laughs> Wizard, yep, and his female elf companion. <laughs> really, I'm playing the girl. You're making me play the girl. Well, I thought between the pair of us, you could. Do probably... I have long flowing locks? I thought between the pair of us, you could probably pull it off. Okay, it was a it was a calculated decision. Okay, okay. I can, you know, to me, male, female, when it comes to adventuring party, okay, it makes no difference to me. Okay, to me, you're just one of the guys. Okay so, okay, so don't worry about it. I'm not going to make you feel in any way odd or weird. I can't guarantee that though when I'm playing the barbarian, you know what these testosterone filled barbarians are like. <laughs> but at the moment, I'm a wizard. I'm more into my intellectual pursuits than any thoughts of the flesh. I have one problem with this. Yes. You met me down the pub. Uh, and you've I've, taken me to a dark, secluded spot. I'm a wizard. My intentions are purely academic. Don't worry. <laughs> right. Anyway, we have a foreword for this. This we is do, Richard yes. from Mantic. Once again, we Hello. keep forgetting about him. That's fine. Know, because it's all about us. <laughs> okay, so okay. Richard, please, please give me some fluff. I will give you some fluff. Well, the first thing is the victory conditions. Yes. Is you need to open this door. Okay. So right, so we have to get to here. And yep. get it open. And get and it we're open. starting from this room, which we are yep. locked in. Okay. Now these doors are slightly different from the last. Yep. Doors. These they may look similar. They may, they do look similar, but this time they're not mundane. They're magical locks. Right. Which is why your wizard Danor is key. So only the wizard can open these doors. At right. this stage, only the wizard is able to open this lock. Now I also notice they have tokens with ones and twos on them. Yep. Is that how many successful spells I have to cast in order to open them? Yes, they are. That's the strength of the ward on the lock. Mm. You've got to break to get through to the next room. Okay. Okay. Let's give you a bit of fluff. Okay. Danor cursed for what felt like the millionth time as he stumbled over the debris underfoot. The hand that gripped and steadied his arm was vice like. He was actually starting to develop a bruise under his robe. He was sure. However delicate and fade as she elf look, her strength was intimidating. Okay, so I met you down the pub. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> what was going on under my robe? <laughs> <laughs> you were bruising. Oh, I was bruising <laughs> under my robe. Okay. Was bruising under the robe. Right. It's well, all fine. Right. I'm not interested in any of that. Can I just say at this point, right? Yeah. Um, if I haven't told you before, dungeon delving is kind of my thing. <laughs> if you hadn't noticed. And. Um, uh, I'm having such a blast this weekend. Mm. I'm having such a blast. I, I, I can't tell you how much of a blast <laughs> I'm having. It's great. Mm. Because in, in my younger days, I'm, I'm right back to being a 12-year-old again. Okay? <laughs> when, I, uh, when I was 12, mm. um, I always only ever played two characters, the Barbarian and yep. the Wizard. Because okay. they were so diametrically opposed. Yeah. And Lloyd, who we well, will have to get him involved in this weekend at some point, mm. only ever played the Dwarf and the Elf. And it, so I'm right back here. I you know it's just I love the the the, comp the their complete opposites, the yeah. two characters. And I used to spend my 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 evenings 
working on an Amiga computer, typing out my own spells and printing them <laughs> in uh, kind of gothic text on a dot matrix printer. I vaguely remember those. And it, and it coming up, and I was so amazed that it, it actually had a scroll, scrolly font, yeah. and it was they were my spells. So I'm, I, I can't tell you how excited I am about yeah. this. Well, I, I am it's absolutely this nothing to do with Dungeon Saga, <laughs> but it does. It does. You know, this is this yep. is where I'm. This is where I'm at right now. Yeah. So, I've rolled up my wizard sleeves. I'm getting ready yep. to get in here and do the do the business. So as normal, starts with the heroes. Yep. Okay. Uh, Danor, would you care to take the first turn, my dear? I'm I'm letting go of your your arm. <laughs> Okay, right. <laughs> Trying to forget about the bruising <laughs> under my robes. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, I'm, uh, I'm in the dark dungeon. Mm -hmm. We've listened. If you listen very carefully, there seems to be a commotion mm -hmm. far in the west. Yes. Very, very faint, but there seems to be a commotion. The sound of a door breaking. Mm. We need to get there. We need to find out what's going on. Okay. I believe that it all has to start a spell. Mm. Yes. Because, a little bit of technical stuff for you. Yep. If we can get this on the camera. Yep. So, if I there we go. The right camera. <laughs> this is it. You can see, as armor goes, I am rubbish. So I have armor one, which means that anything on a two plus is going to get me. I only have two combat dice, so my defense is atrocious, never mind my attacks. Yep. Um, and my movement's seven, so I, I am pretty nippy, but the moment I start get the I can only take one wound and I'm immediately injured. Yep. So. Mm. Yeah, I'm the one who's having to run around and protect you, but even I myself. Yes. I'm not a, a combat machine here. I so have armor two. Three pluses are going to hurt you. Yep, and I only have. Three two, combat dice. Two heart spaces before yeah. I'm injured as well. But I have a ranged attack. So I might yeah. be able to shoot them down before they get to us. Well, we'll see. The wizard says, Elf, it is important that we use our intellect. Because we cannot match their swords. But they cannot match my brains. I'm not convinced or sure about your brains yet. We're about <laughs> to find out about that. But... We have to use our intellect, Elf. Okay. This, this adventure is not going to go well if we don't start breaking some doors down. So yep. first things first, um, I'm going to cast spells because that's what it's all about yeah. here. So I think you may need to move first. With your break ward, I believe it's adjacent. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Um, just a, a brief explanation. No, wait. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Give, yeah. Give a brief explanation then. Because this one is all about shooting and magic. Yes. It brings in range. Obviously, previously we were just hitting things over the head. Mm -hmm. Now we have range. We've got, quite handily, short range. Yep. And long range. Yep. Okay. Now your spells, which you've got on the cards there, tell yep. you whether it's a long range, short range, or whether it's an adjacent. And it tells you at the top, just at the top right of, this, of the card. Mm -hmm. what well, I, I have a question for okay. you about spell stacking here, because I have a lot of interesting spells here. So let's get, let's get these under, under the camp. Okay. So here have a spell called Break Wind, and here have a spell Work. called Burn. Do they stack, and can I get some kind of flamer <laughs> template that I can... <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Sorry, it's Break Ward. Break ward. Oh, right, okay, right. right. Do you want to know the, the funny thing? If you can do that, I'm going nowhere near you. <laughs> <laughs> so Break Ward is yep. a spell that I have. Okay, let me read it out. Yep. A single magical ward in an adjacent square is reduced in strength by one. Hmm. When the ward's strength reaches zero, it is broken. No line of sight required may be used even when in the front arc of an enemy. Hmm. Um, and then it's got this recharging thing, uh, yes. Rich. So whenever I use it, yep. okay, I have to rotate it 90 degrees. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then at the next, the beginning of the next turn, at the end of that turn, at the end of that turn, yeah. it rotates back. That's correct. Okay. Next up, I have Flame Bolt. Mm. 
the target suffers a two dice magical attacks. Mm. Now, the interesting thing is, it also says on these that they are minor petty magic spells um, for the break ward, and this is a minor pyromancy spell. Also, oh, even the spells are categorized into yep. the. Oh, 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 this is so bringing it back to me. Right, a line of sight required yep. may not be used when the in the front arc of an enemy. Mm. Um, so ooh. I assume if you're in combat, you can't blast them in the face with this. That's right. right. Recharging again, ninety degrees anti-clockwise, and at the end of the round, it goes ninety degrees clockwise. Yep. I then have feet of stone, and I've got a token for this one as well. Okay. Yep. yep. The target is unable to move for the remainder of this round. They attack and defend at minus one dice in addition to any other modifiers. Place a geomancy, because this is a major geomancy spell. Mm -hmm. Place a geomancy counter next to the model as a reminder. No line of sight required, may be used even when in the front arc of an enemy. Yeah. Now recharging, this is slightly different. Major, well I'm assuming that this is going to happen for major spells. When I cast it, I have to rotate this one. 180 degrees, mm -hmm. which means it's going to take two turns to yep. come back be before active. it comes back. Mm. And then finally, I have burn. burn. The target suffers a four dice magical attack. Mm. No line of sight required, may be used even when in the front arc of an enemy. So this is in my close range one more. Yeah. I just go. <laughs> yep. Recharging 180 degrees. So in other words, two turns to come back. Yep. Right, I'm going to break ward. Right. Okay, you need to move it yep. so you're adjacent with the ward. So from here where you start it, mm -hmm. you need to go to here so you are adjacent. Okay, so let me go round like uh -huh. that. Now, okay. Um, that is when you would be able to break ward now. So I'm going to play yep. break ward. Mm -hmm. In, same as before, it's move and or action. So you move okay. and your action will be... Break ward. Okay. Yeah. Break ward, which means I rotate 90, 90 degrees. degrees. That's correct. I've actually rotated that clockwise. I'll rotate it <laughs> 90 degrees yep. and yep. clockwise. That's now down to a 1. So that's now down to a 1. So okay. I, I have a counter for it, which I'll find shortly. So I don't have to roll to see if the magic succeeds or whatever. Mm. Um, in this instance, in break instance, ward, right. it just, it just, it just works. It, it just happens. Just, yeah. Okay. Right. That's so, my turn over. Uh, my elf, seeing the mage move forward to break the ward, steps up, going one and two to move into a defensive position as she sees two piles of bones further down the corridor, which might cause some issues mm. to her companion. Yep. Okay. Again, should have done this slightly earlier, but uh -huh. do you want to just shuffle yep. again? Yep. Exactly the same. So we got that on camera. We just yep. uh, give that a shuffle. Okay. okay, so again, Justin, you'll notice there's not very many cards there, so yep. the time We've is ticking against this. Okay. So. And Rich starts getting three out of that deck to begin with, yeah. so it's shrinking already. Right, so I've got these. Excellent. Now, the keys, I don't have to spend them. I always have to draw one. Mm -hmm. I don't have to spend. Okay. I will draw. Mm. So three so. starting, yep. and one now for the beginning of the Overlord turn. Yeah, okay. and as before, I've got the two command. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this time I'm going to bring my skeletons up. Four. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Because they've clearly heard noise rummaging yeah. off. They've animated to mm -hmm. investigate what it is. Yeah. So we're back I'm, on to the hero phase, or are you playing something? I'm going to leave it for now. Okay. Okay. So back to us. Would you care to yep. break the ward? Yes. We have a problem, though. Mm. Okay, well, I'm going to... Uh, at the end of my turn, I should have rotated yep, my break sorry. ward spell. Okay? Yep. I'm just going to break the ward. Okay? okay? Which means that that door now disappears. Okay? Yep. So it moves over. Moves over. Out that door is now open. Yeah, well, if we just completely take it away, just so we're not blocking the camera. Okay, yep. So... That's that done. It's mm -hmm. over to you, elf. Yep. Can but can an elf move through his own you character? Can't move can't through your own character. Your character. Ah. So perhaps what you should have done was have moved to here, 
because you would have still been adjacent. Well, then why couldn't I? Oh, I see. Oh, as it's our first go. Will you let me do it? Let me do a, a ticky backy. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I've moved to there. I've broke ward and but, I've taken yeah, already. The door. You can start seeing it becomes. It can become very tactical. Yes. Yeah, with yeah. where you play stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my elf hearing the. The door slowly creak open, mm -hmm. exposing the rest of the dungeon. Yep. Decides it's time to move ahead and defend her companion. So, one, two, three, mm -hmm. four, and she'll go five to there. Good thinking to let me out the yep. door. Yeah. And upon seeing two skeletons shambling toward her in the corridor, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, hmm. I didn't want to have to do this too early, but I'm going to use my feet on the two of them. Okay, oh, cool. So her feet <coughs> is Hail of Arrows. Uh, may shoot three times in the same turn. Resolve each shot before deciding on the next target. Mm -hmm. So even if I fail to kill one of them once... You could have another go. Exactly. That's a great, great feat. So okay. uh, I will be shooting this skeleton with the scythe first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she gets four dice. Yep, four dice for long, long range. range. And Rich, I assume you're getting your two. So, what we have here is that and that does nothing. Move them further down so it oh, can be whoops. seen. So, I got a two and a one, which have done absolutely nothing. Yep. But my two fives mm -hmm. oh, break the four and the two that Rich rolled. Yep. yep. So, I believe I turn you into a pile of bones. According to this, two hits, pile of bones. Mm -hmm. And it was at the scythe, was it? Yes, at the scythe. I will then be doing the exact same again. Yep. Oh, lovely. So if you want to roll yourself as well. So this time I have done more than a little well for myself by everything going through the armor mm -hmm. and none of Rich is being able to block me. Yep. yep. So that's four points of damage to the skeleton. That's a dead skeleton. Dead. That is destroyed. automatically dead. I can live with that because it's meaning there are no skeletons on the board. Our next turn, you should hopefully be safe to move up yeah. without much issue. Right. So we're getting the hang of this whole are. adventure in Malarkey now. Right. Maybe I need to stop being that nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Was he being nice? Mm -hmm. Oh wait, yeah, because he let you move. Yeah. So commands. Mm -hmm. right. First thing I'm going to do. Hmm. There's nothing really to command. But I am going to do three, three raised dead. Oh. Mm -hmm. I've got exactly the same ability. Characters, minions, sorry. Yeah. As before, with the yep. addition of, I get a skeleton archer. Mm -hmm. Right. So I get. So you get a bit of long range. I get a bit as of well. long range. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to raise one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's raising to there. I'm going to raise this one straight back up. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm Where's going the last to... one being raised. I'll raise one here. Oh, he's okay. going to put pressure on us in uh, both directions. Because he's raised them, I think that counts as their activation, doesn't it? Yes, I can't then move them, yeah. I can't then shoot, but they're yeah. ready for me next time. It doesn't time. matter, Justin, it doesn't matter. Look how many skeletons there are! <laughs> okay, right. We've got this. Right. Back to the heroes. Yep. Okay. So, if you wouldn't mind... Right, with the end of my turn, I, I re-tapped yep. my... Uh, and the break re ward. Yep. the break ward. Um... Okay, I'm going so to Our move. next door is only Ward 1. Yes. So you can move up to it. I need to move up to it. So one, two, three. I'm going to go this way. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I believe... Uh, I believe I can cast my break ward. I don't have to be yeah. facing the yeah, door to cast it. Line of sight just requires you yeah, to be no adjacent. line of sight required. If it so said line of sight... This, you could hurt yeah. the reach behind yourself going, open up, open up. Yeah. yeah. If it said line of sight, then yes, it would have to be in your front arc. Okay, well, I'm going, no to, I'm going, to, cast it, I'm going to cast it that way so okay. I at least have a fighting chance. Right. Okay. So, so this door is the also door gone. is now gone. Yep. Now. That will be you done, I believe. Yeah. I wonder... Should I have used my feet? Uh, I would say save it. Yeah. Okay. We're about to be under more pressure. So. Okay. Uh, you've went. Yep. So that goes into there. Mm-hmm. If I don't break the dungeon. Okay. <laughs> that's all right. The dungeon looks crickety. That, that that's how dungeons <laughs> <Yeah>. are. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will then make an attack 
on the skeleton. There's a ranged attack, me. yeah. Yep, it's a long range attack, so uh -huh. not a problem. Well in. So, four dice. Oh. So, if we line the dice up, Rich oh. has completely defeated me here yeah. because those do nothing and those are both nullified. Yeah. No, well, that, that beats my five. Ah, uh, yes, but it's one point which does yep. nothing. Which does nothing. But, okay. So, yeah, blast. Rouse so, slams into the skeleton's eye socket. It, it's, it stumbles a moment, but continues. The wizard turns to his companion and says, Yeah, you, you're going to have to do better than that. <laughs> you know, I'm busting all these doors here. You need to sort this out. Right, now, mm -hmm. I'm going to take my card mm -hmm. for my first command. Actually, first thing I'm going to do is actually I'm going to play that. One extra command. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you now have three. three commands. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to bring my archer out because I quite like a bit of this. Oh, Shooting. Right. Now, shoot. again, on my Necromancer Overlord panel, I've got shooting long three. Mm -hmm. Okay. We know it's in range. Yeah. Who are you shooting? I'm going to shoot the mage, the wizard. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. I assume he gets his two. I get my turn. two combat dice. Yes. Two combat dice. Yep. Come on, wizard. Show me a wizard's roll. Right. So there's mine. Uh huh. Yep. So now, again, we get rid of the feeble. What your armor of one? Yep. Gets rid of that one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, my five beats that. Yeah. And my two beats that. No, you've done two points of damage, but you only ever take one point of damage yep. as, a, as a hero. That's still going to hurt you yep. because you are now I counting. I am now considered injured. injured. So let me let me yeah, bring, let this, me bring up. this camera up, and you mm -hmm. should have space here. Okay. To show it. So if you flip that round. Okay. So there we go. You can see I'm now injured because they're all red. Once that little token there. Yep. Went on top. Yep. Yeah. So you're at minus one on some of your dice rolls now. Yes. This is not good. For my next roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a skeleton moving up from the room we were in. Mm -hmm. Glad we got it there. And for my third command, I'm going to go into combat with the elf. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're attacking my archer. So I only get three dice now. Yep. There's something to bear in mind, though. You're yes. outnumbered. I'm outnumbered. Uh -huh. Right. I mean, I'm already at lowest that I am, so yep. it doesn't actually have an effect. But for the next turn, I'm yeah, numbered. Okay, so let's see what we get. Uh, not a very good dice roll. Uh, What's the armor on your elf? The armor on my elf is only two, so, so one comes through, uh -huh. but my six will block it. Yeah. Yep. So Ooh, nothing happens. It's ineffectual as can be. Now on top of that, I haven't cast raise dead. Mm-hmm. So I will. Oh. I have another skeleton. Hang on. You no, can't wait. do that. Yeah. yeah. Because wait. you've already used three commands. The ra so, raised one, dead two, is in three. addition to the commands. Is it? Yes. Oh, right. Oh. That's quite nasty. Oh, that yeah. is nasty. Okay. So almost all the skeletons are up and running. Yeah. It's back to our turn. We're getting we're getting outsmarted here. Yeah. We're I did, getting outsmarted. So I did right. make like yeah, the the race that is in addition to your commands. Yeah. Uh, might I suggest I go first? Because in this yes. situation, yes. I want to yes. hit him, go. crush him, yeah, and let you run away. Yeah, try to crush him. Yes. So I'll have this is all on you, Elf. Three yeah. dice. Three yeah. dice. But ones will count. Yep. Or no, twos will count. If you fail this, I'm sending you back to Santa. Okay, so. Oh, you failed. I failed miserably. <laughs> oh, no! Last. This is not good. Okay. Uh, so I think it's on you to actually... Right. Actually, I'm, you could burn. I'm going to go with my feet. Okay. Okay. My feet is called Focus. Once per game, Danor can cast up to three different major spells. Yep. Mm -hmm. And they may be cast even if they're currently recharging. Yeah. I don't okay. have anything recharging at the moment. Um... But I'm going to cast... Can I cast the same spell twice, though, as part of that three? I would probably say not. I would say Because that just sounds okay. a little overpowered. That would be cool. That would be, cool. That would be <laughs> <laughs> I'd just cast burn, burn, burn! Yeah. 
Okay, so burn. A target suffers a four dice magical attack. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Would you like to use one of your crystals? Oh, now what are the crystals and how do they work? What? Other than the fact that they look like they've come from the Fortress of Solitude. Different. <laughs> okay. Different crystals. That's a power level one. Yep. Basically, it allows you to add an extra one to the dice you're rolling. Uh huh. It just powers up what you're doing. It's mm -hmm. giving you that extra chance of success. Mm -hmm. yes. And don't forget, you're injured, so that might affect your spell. Yep. Okay. So I would say you would have to use that to be at your standard fighting fitness. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So as it currently stands, I'm injured. Yep. Uh, that means that I'm minus one on my on my my rolls. Yep. Okay. Uh, so I'd be. Well, well, does that even affect, that will affect magic? Yeah. Yeah, okay, right. So, but I'm going to play an energy crystal. Yep. Okay. So. That's going to take me back up to four. Can I play more than one? I would need to double check. I will, if you've got the rules here, if you want me to just have a quick click through. Yeah, or... go, go by all yep. means, because if I can play multiples of them, I'm going to do it. <laughs> right, so you're, you're just basically standing there. I'm going to make an yeah. anime reference here. I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it out. Okay. The hero rolls one additional dice when casting a spell that uses dice. The crystal may also be used to recharge a spell, rotating it 90 degrees clockwise, mm. or to cast a spell of any level higher than the caster's own. Uh -huh. Only one crystal may oh, be used uh, per spell per turn. There we go. Even on, There we go. It's on the card. Okay, so um, four dice. Yep. Now, the question is, who do I burn? Do I burn this guy here? Mm-hmm. Go on to it. So do I burn this guy here um, so as to try and get away, mm. or do I try to burn this guy here? No line of sight required, maybe used even when in the front arc of an enemy. Um, what does Feet of Stone do? Feet of Stone is another major spell. The target is unable to move for the remainder of this round. They attack and defend at minus one dice in addition to any other modifiers and place a geomancy counter next to the model as a reminder. Probably worth casting that first, isn't it? And then casting burn. Well, if you cast that onto the archer down here... Mm -hmm. But he's not going to move here. anyway. The archer... No, but he's at minus one. To his move... Uh, yeah, they attack and defend at minus one yeah. dice. Yeah. Uh, so if he's the one that's targeting you, you're weakening him, giving yourself a better chance to survive, and burning off the one that's on us, and then next turn, you're able to walk away. Okay, let's do it. So I'm going yep. to cast Feet of Stone. Okay. Yep. So I rotate that 180 degrees. Yep. yep. Now, as you know, there's no casting. Yep. Yeah, it there's nothing goes. to cast, so it I just, just put that on him. Yep. Yep. Oh. So he's now been affected by a geomancy spell. Yep. yep. Um, I'm then going to burn this guy. Four dice. Yeah, with a crystal. With a crystal. With a crystal. Okay, so I'm about to spend. Yep. Okay, so what did I get? Oh dear. So right. Six and a four here. So I've got a five, a four, and a three. What's his no, armor? The two counts. The two I'm, does count. I'm outnumbered. Ah. Yeah. Okay. So that overall, I believe, is two points of damage. Yep. So, so two points of damage turned into and a, pile, into of a pile of bones. One pile of bones. Excellent. Okay. So that's my burn mm -hmm. now spent as well. Yep. yep. The others are minor, so I don't know if you can cast no, them. No, I can't cast them because it can only do three different major spells. Yeah, yeah. he's used his feet. It is that. Yeah. Yep. I can't move. Yep. I can't do anything else. We're spent. Yep. Yep. Over to the Overlord. Yep. Over to the Overlord. I will draw my card. Mm hmm. What shall I do? I'm going to raise dead. Okay. But which dead? Which dead? Bit of fun. I'll raise that one. Okay. I could have raised that one, but I've got a feeling you'd have just smashed it down. Smashed yeah. it. Yeah. And the second command, I'm going to take a shot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, so normally I would be on three feet of stone, so I'm only rolling two. Yep. Yep. And I'm going to shoot at the mage again. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the mage gets his two. The mage, mage gets his two. Um, and you're up okay. against a four and a six. Ooh, I a have six. a six, but the four still gets, gets through. through. Yeah, so, so I do another point of another damage. Point of damage. Yeah. yeah, so you're really starting to hurt now. 
I'm 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 not hurting any more than it was hurting. Yeah. You mm. know, so it's um I, I'm not panicking just okay. yet. Okay. So it's back over to the hero's turn. Right. Uh, right. Might I advise that you go first? I think that's probably a good mm. idea, Elf. And <laughs> if I may, if you go to this square here, yeah. I'm hoping that I can block line of sight to you for next turn and take the shot for you. Well, we will see. Yeah. Okay. So, well, so be... I'm going to, uh, uh, first, I get to rotate them yeah. the yeah. 90 degrees. Would you like to spend a gem to actually rotate them again? It would only affect one. Yeah. Yes, but it lets you get one of them back up and running again. So would that be worthwhile? Well, let me do my movement first, and then we'll discuss okay. that. Yeah. So I get to move up to seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. You're at the door. And I'm not actually going to cast any of these. I'm going to cast Break Ward. Okay. Yep. So that and goes down to one. Take to the one. door down to one. So. Okay. So it's now on one. Let's never forget the, the mission. Objective. Yep. You know, it's all about the mission. You know, we have to get through this door because there's a commotion going on in this dungeon. We can hear it more clearly yeah. now. Mm -hmm. We ha we have to use our brains, our intellect. Yeah. Well, I'm going to use my brain for this one. Okay. My elf, instead of running away like she probably yep. should, is going to step on top of this pile of bones uh -huh. to lock it down. Yes. And is then going to shoot at this archer. Okay. That's good thinking, elf. So I have elf four dice. Hang on a second. Three. I was standing beside you, elf, and you have a healing potion. Yeah, that's my healing potion. <laughs> You They're good, good adventuring. Give if you're adjacent, you can give magical items. I, that's I, not his I fault. Didn't know that. Or I her fault. Sorry, that. I didn't say. But no, you can if you have something that's useful. If you're adjacent, you can palm well, it. Well, that'll do you no know, good because you're still injured. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, we're 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 on target. Okay. okay. So I will roll my dice. Uh huh. I hope for something good. Come on, elf. So, do it. Uh, what's your armor? Two. Oh no! So sorry, it's a one. It's a one. Yes, because so, remember he's. Um... Yes, so my two works. I think the only thing that's knocked out is my five. No, so that's yeah. three points of damage. That is one destroyed skeleton archer, I believe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very destroyed pile of dust. Excellent. Okay. And I think we now have time for the next turn for you to open the door and ask to get the hell well, out. Well, let's see. It's over to the Overlord. Yeah. Hopefully, does... he's got nothing too evil in that hand of cards of his. Yes. Uh, no. This is one of the great things about this game is he is very much against us on yep. this, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You, know, you are very much involved uh, it's, it's in, the game, in the game. Yeah. 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 And it's nice to tweak it around, but like I said, mm. there'll be a game that we play and I'm not going to hold back. Oh, it's right. going to be very okay. brutal. Okay. Right, so I'm going to play this. Two extra commands. Okay. Uh -huh. So I'm not actually going to be able to use all those commands, but it does mean I can move all three. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what's moving where? One, two, three, into combat. Okay. okay. So, I have three in my combat three, pool. Not, not quite as good as close okay. combat. Okay, right. so, as it stands, one gets through because my six blocks you, but my one does not. All right, so, so I will take a win, but. A blood I'm, token. I'm actually going to take it on the chin and take the blood token. Okay. Mm -hmm. And keep your potion in case things get really bad. <laughs> yes. Yep. My second. One, two, three, four. We're in combat. Oh. oh. And I am outnumbered. So my combat pool goes down to two. Yep. So this again. Oh. Oh. Uh, so I get a five and a one, but the six and five beats me, so I take another point of damage. Mm -hmm. Yep. At this point, my elf is turning to the mage. Would you get the bloody door open? <laughs> Hurry! <laughs> I will. Yep. It's just not my turn yet. <laughs> <laughs> and as my last action, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. uh, as the weary battle cry of every World of Warcraft player, out of mana. <laughs> right. <coughs> Back over. Yep. Back over to my turn. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, w would you like to go first, <laughs> or do you want me? No. To okay. <laughs> Time for that moment. Open the bloody door. <laughs> the wizard. Is facing away from the door, so he reaches back. Yeah, touches the door with his magical hand and goes, "Whoa, baby!" <laughs> and the door. I wonder how many doors that breaks down. 
I've played my break wind, a break ward card. <laughs> yeah. And done. And you threw. Just, oh, go, have we got any fluff for there that? There is. There's actually quite a lot. So I'll, I'll okay. go for the first main section. Everybody <laughs> settle down. Settle down. Story yeah. time. Okay. Another fireball erupted into life from Daniel's staff, engulfing the warrior charging him. The dry rags of his clothes caught in an instant, but the thing just kept staggering on towards him in eerie silence, flames licking at empty eye sockets and from its gaping mouth like some abomination from the abyss. Danil backed away, flailing at it with, its st with his staff until he felt cold stone at his back. He tried to keep calm, breathing deeply to focus on another spell. There was a crack, and the head, still gouting in flames, span away in a lazy arc and hit the floor. Like a marionette with its string suddenly cut, the body slumped to the ground where it continued to smolder. Madriga stood poised behind it, sword still horizontal from the killing blow. Where Dana's sweat and dust caked no, sorry, where sweat and dust caked to Danal's face, Madriga appeared entirely unruffled, as if she had just been for a quick stroll. Mm. There we go. That doesn't feel like a quick stroll whenever I've ended up surrounded. <laughs> surrounded. With the wizard going, Bye! Well, that is just our journey to the dungeon. Yes. yes. We've just been going down the first corridors to get through the door to the actual dungeon. Yeah, we're past the bouncers. Now, our dungeon adventures start properly. Yeah. So stay tuned, because we're going to be hitting Adventure 1. And that is when things really start to kick off. Oh, yeah.